Fun fact. Some spacecraft, particularly early American space shuttles, were named after famous sailing ships. The Columbia, the Challenger, the Endeavor, even the Enterprise was named after a sailing ship. So to repay the favor, the U.S. academic fleet named some of their ships after astronauts. We have the Neil Armstrong and the Sally Ride. Neil Armstrong is a household name. Everyone's familiar with Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But those of you that are unfamiliar with Sally Ride, Sally Ride was an astronaut and a physicist. And in 1983, she became the first female American to ever go to space. So let's head inside research vessel Sally Ride and take a closer look. What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome. My name is Joe Franta. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this channel is all about being a U.S. Merchant Mariner, so if you're interested in something like that, please be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel. Yeah, so tour videos are nothing new to this channel. We've been doing tour videos for a long time. Uh, usually they're of big cargo ships. But this is going to be a little different. This is of the research vessel Sally Ride, which is a lot smaller than a cargo ship. She's only about 238 feet long with a 50 foot beam. She's pretty much four times shorter than the container ship I worked on. But don't let her size trick you. There's a whole lot going on on this research vessel. So to start the tour, we're going to start on top of the ship and work our way down. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the Sally Ride. So it's just going to be a quick walkthrough. Each deck has an inside and an outside. We'll cover both, then we'll move down to the next deck. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, starting off on the bridge. In the back of the bridge we have the chart room. Then moving forward. We have all the instruments, this is where the captain steers, the radars, all your typical bridge stuff. There's a third mate at work. One thing that makes this bridge different is its DP system, dynamic positioning. And of course, very important, the coffee station. And moving outside. Then out back, after the bridge, we have the fast rescue boat. And if we move forward to the bridge, this is where the life rafts are. There's no lifeboats on this vessel, it's too small. They only have life rafts. Even though the ship's tiny, it has a big crew. And these four life rafts, once deployed, can carry more than enough people. Okay, moving down a deck. First off, we have the library. There's a crew computer in here and some books. And my quarters. But being the top accommodation deck, this is where the captain and the chief engineer are and the majority of the crew. Once we move outside, the first thing we see is the ship's crane. It's a knuckle crane. Sally Ride has limited deck space. 
So a knuckle crane gives maximum reach, but also coming in a compact size. And back here we have the MCS booth, main control station. The main control station controls the wire that runs through the A-frame. Up here they're able to monitor the tension and the depth, all while staying out of the way of a snapback. All right, let's head forward. If you're enjoying the video, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel. Thanks guys. And all the way forward is the observation deck. This is a great spot for the researchers to get a better view, but without getting in the way of the crew. Moving down to the forecastle deck. This is the main accommodations deck. There are some crew that stay here, but the majority of the occupants are the researchers. All cabins, as far as the eye can see. Speaking of cabins, most cabins hold two people. And the head is shared by two cabins, which means there are four people sharing a head. Heavy is the price of research. So we have the paint locker, fun little observatory area of the back deck. And on the port side, there's really not too much going on. And then on starboard side, we have our gangway. at normal speed. It's a very, very small ship. Doesn't take much to walk from the stern to the bow. Then all the way forward, we have the forward mooring station. Moving down to the main deck, we go right into the mess hall. And believe it or not, everyone can fit in here. Over on the port side is a little exhibit for Sally Ride. And you know, I've been on a couple ships in my time, and this is one of the better mess halls. Fountain machine, milk, coffee, all the bells and whistles. Not to mention, it's only a two-person galley department that has to feed over 50 people. Big shout out to those guys for doing a great job. 
moving to the main passageway. Believe it or not, there is a freaking movie theater on board, which I've never seen before, but it's pretty sweet. It was really nice to watch a Super Bowl. Then we have the electrician shop. And we have a little locker room for all the researchers to get their PPE. And the main area of the Sally ride, the lab. The lab is the main work area for the scientists. They can kind of set it up how they please. Not to mention, this is where all the monitors are for the instruments underneath the ship. There's a reefer for storage. The lab can kind of be made to whatever the scientists need it to be. All right, heading to the back deck. First thing we see is a CTD instrument. Conductivity, temperature, and depth. In a nutshell, they use this machine to collect water samples. Heading further back, we have the little TK4 crane. And this little crane is able to move things around the back deck a little easier than whipping out the big knuckle crane, especially when underway. And the stern is another major work area. And the star of the show would be the A-frame. Whether that's launching an ROV, or deploying a dredge. This is where everyone gets their hands dirty. And below the main deck, this is where all the engine spaces are. There's also the computers and the instruments for all the some bottom profilers, the big winch for the A-frame, the bosun workshop, and the best ship's gym I've ever seen. They have a rock climbing wall, treadmill, bike, free weights, you name it, they have it. And after all that, we head up the main ladder well, back to the top deck, to our cabin. And that will complete the tour. So if we've learned anything from the tour, is that big things come in small packages. There's a lot going on the Sally ride. Thanks for sticking around for the entire tour. And a big thank you to Scripps and UNOLS. Be sure to check them out. Links in the description. See you guys in the next video. And a big thank you and shout out to our Patreon crew. I really appreciate your guys' support. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.